the Heat now in the East? I think they're firmly entrenched at the number two spot. And I know that people think they're otherwise because of Toronto and Boston. I'm not of that mindset. I believe that an acquisition like this, um, you know, buffers them. It gives them experience inside that locker room along with Udonis Haslam. In terms from a leadership perspective, you know that he can still go out there and give you minutes defensively. I don't think that can be ignored. And when I consider the young Lions that the Miami Heat have on their squad, I just love the acquisition of any kind of veteran leadership because I think that's all they're lacking. My aver aversion to this move would be if Iguodala plays enough minutes where he gets in the way of the development of guys like a, a Duncan Robinson, for example, or a Hero, for example, because I love the way those two brothers play. But big, no mistake about it, he's an asset. He's not a liability. And I also think that you have to look at the rest of the Eastern Conference by default. Even though Toronto is playing good basketball, they don't have Kawhi Leonard. It is the regular season. There are many nights that the opposition takes off. And I think that come playoff time without a guy like Kawhi Leonard there, I don't think they'll be as formidable as they were last year. Milwaukee has something to prove because of how they collapsed in the conference finals last year. We know they're elite defensively. We know what the Greek freak is, but there's still question marks about them. The Boston Celtics have been impressive this year. We know what Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown and Kemba Walker can do and what they have done, but I think size is an issue with them as the game slows and, and, and playoff teams engage in physicality. And we all know the soap opera that the Sixers are. By the way, quick correction, we were on countdown last night, and I made the error of saying that the Sixers did not leave. They stayed in South Beach. The team left. Ben Simmons stayed in South Beach, so that was my mistake. It wasn't the team. I misspoke. It was Ben Simmons who stayed in South Beach, not the team. Nevertheless. Maybe that's why he doesn't uh, have his own team, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Ben. So, so all I'm saying is, at the end of the day, that, Indiana, all of these other teams, it's up for grabs. I think Miami, with their leadership from the top, with Pat Riley to Eric Spolstra, on down to these players, I think they're firmly entrenched as the number two seed in the I, East. I, I say before, that's even worse. That, that that's Simmons even thing. worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That look, you didn't stay as a unit down there. Yeah, that's look, one thing. But as an individual? Yes. Simmons may not be ready to lead that team, oh. but, I'll, but I don't think they're number two in the East necessarily. They're vying for that second mm -hmm. spot when you added Guadala. And if they add Gallinari, I'll change my tune. If they add Gallinari, I'll say it's Bucks and then Sixers because now you're adding offensive firepower um, in addition to a guy who can go out and guard elite perimeter defenders in high leverage moments. I don't think he interferes with development of young guys, Stephen A. I think he's the guy. It's the Raekwon line I always use from incarcerated Scarfaces. Jay, you may be too young to remember. Uh, I know I incarcerated know. Scarface. Want to battle for cash and see who sons who? Right, mm -hmm. like with the money on the line, Iguodala is that kind of player. With the cash on yeah. the line, you could say this guy's better than Iguodala. He's younger, he's fresher, he's whatever. With the money on the line, Iguodala's the guy Would you, you want to Would you mind if I interjected by reminding Jay Williams what you said last year about Iguodala? You may, please. Um, Jay Williams last sure, year. tell me, please. Thank uh, you. Max Kellerman, uh -huh. my brother, Max Kellerman, came on national TV and said with everything on the line, the planet Earth, was that the planet Fate Earth? of the planet the Earth, Earth on the line. Open shot to hit. Fate of the planet Earth with an oh, open, shot, remember this. With an yeah. open shot to hit. Than. He would pick Andre Iguodala over Steph Curry. Sometimes, Matt. Yep. Mm. I just, just want to say something. Wait, I just want to that. Hold on. Before we get to your argument. Before we get, too, right. before before argument, we get too off track, there was, I go always back to the late 90s Yankees, the greatest dynasty in the history of baseball. There was a player, Luis Soho, if you ask hardcore Yankees fans, he's a utility infielder. Right. Who'd you rather have All up right. in the we're clutch? On, you just say you don't want to go now. on the tangent. Hold, hold on, who'd you rather have up in the clutch? Okay. Him or A Rod? A lot of I just want to remind you. Hold up, hold up. I just want to remind you. Jay, talk to me, because right. 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 he's saying Buck Sixer. I know, I never got to the point. Oh, I thought you said that. No, I interrupted him to make that point. I thought that was his point. I wanted to get to the point. So, so. No, I interrupted him. Let me So, the Sixers, sorry, the Heat. Maybe second, but they have to contend with the following teams. We all agree Bucks are number one. Yeah. Not only the Celtics, who, when they're healthy, I think have shown they're actually the second best team in the conference, but the Sixers, in spite of what you just said about Ben Simmons and the way we all reacted, they were many people's, including my preseason pick. Al Horford fell off. Talk about falling off a cliff. Boy, he's been terrible, but now he's saying they got locker room issues. Tobias Harris has been bad. They just got shooting help. 
and, and it's in there somewhere. You always have to keep your eye on a team where even if they're dysfunctional, the talent is there in Philadelphia. I'd say the Heat are probably still third if the Celtics are healthy. I'll change that to second if they get Gallinari. Sixers are a wild card. You never know who's yeah, going to show I, up. Yeah, I don't, I don't have the Sixers as the second-best team in the East. Um, Al Horford yesterday saying that, Max, what locker room was Al Horford in last year? Boston. Okay, what happened in Boston last year? Did Al Horford speak up like that last year? No. No, that's concerning to me for this locker room. Meaning he learned from last year? No, 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 meaning it's worse. It's worse. Yes, I mean, you're seeing friction between two incredible players vying for who's going to lead this team in a certain degree. And I, I think that was a shot at Ben Simmons. I also think that was an indirect shot at Brett Brown because it's Brett Brown's job to provide a vehicle for these guys to exist on the court together. I think you're right on the money. So with that being said, I I, I think the second slot does go to the Miami Heat. First off, I'm giving big props to their organization. Godfather, Pat Riley, they came into the 2019-20 season with no money to move. Okay, pretty much no direction. I don't know if you guys had them in your top five, top six. I know I did it. For them to be in that position. Top six. Top six, okay. But for them to be in that position right now to have Jimmy Butler, now to have Andre Godala, and be on the move to get Danilo Gallinari. I mean, that could put them. I have them right now as a contender. I don't have them as a favorite in the East. They get Gallinari. They might be up there with Milwaukee. You know what it says, though, that Riley made this move? Pat Riley's not playing games. When he sees a chance to add a championship, He's going to do it. And even though it sounded crazy in the beginning of the year, Jimmy Butler was such a perfect fit. The young guys came along so well. There's such good chemistry. You know, bam, everybody is contributing. And he sees an opportunity here to push the chips to the middle of the table. Pat Riley thinks they're going to steal a championship. Well, so, wait, are you not worried about the 76ers after everything I just mentioned? You still have them as the second-best team in the East? No, no, I'm saying the Heat. Well, no. That's you, the I'm Heat saying, or the 76ers, the second best no, team no, in the no. East? No, no, no. The 76ers are at best the fourth best team in the East right now. You just I'm had saying, them number two before, yeah. though, no, Max. No, the you said, Celtics. The oh, Celtics the Celt- went healthy. This has been, have been excellent. When healthy, the Celtics, I think, have been the second best team in the oh, You conference. must have misspoke because you, no, you said the Sixers. Six you six six said my fault. Okay. 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 That, that makes sense. Celtics. Now, we're on the same page. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.